Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachakwadash. Also, as well, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well to this very day. That is feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And also, as well, Shalom to the whole elect that's how I continue to labor in his work. And I'm also due labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure and faith and truth and sincerity and also in all charity. All right. And the uh, topic of this video is uh, going to be centered around, you know, this particular day, which is um, today is uh, the 4th or the 4th of July, in which um, <clears throat> you got, you know, Edomites, which uh, Edom is the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man. And then you got uh, so-called Negro, Hispanics and Native Americans, uh, which should I, or should I say the majority of the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the true Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible prophecy, okay, and according to the curses that are celebrating this particular day. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, concerning our people, right, which are the Israelites, you know, you know, they celebrate this day, you know, for, for you know, basically this day is set as an independence for America, you know, when you uh, look into the history, uh, the signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776, all right but um you know our people you know they 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 get into the, the fourth but again to the into today you know and you know our people are you know uh you know cooking you know doing cookouts you know doing the most for this particular day man you know in which when you consider this this day you know the fourth and um and you look into the history and what was going on during those times and um you'll see that uh this day was not tailored towards our people you know this day wasn't for us to get get into the reason why is because when the um, esau edom which again is the tropical nationality of the so-called white man when he signed the declaration you know it was for his independence you know it was set up for him to benefit off of that or off the signing of the declaration okay but where were our people during that time you know, during uh, the 1700s, the late 1700s, you know, what were our people doing? They were in the, they were in the, in the fields, man. You know, they were in the fields. They were doing. Uh, they were they were in a hardcore bondage. All right. And guess what? We're still in bondage to this very day, under the hands of our enemies. Okay. And yet here it is today. You know, they celebrate this particular day. You know, and and and, and you know they, they get all into it, man. You know, our people are. You know, they they do the most when it comes to. This particular day man you know out of all the nations on the planet earth all right especially esau edom you know our people do the most you know they go above and beyond to uh for for this day man you know and, and other days like this you know it's, it's nothing new okay so um uh, you know with, with that being said right that's why uh now you know the lord is observing these things okay which is um these things which are doing which uh like i said not not in particular uh this day right but uh, also um, others as well, and he's taken to a, an account of that. Okay, you know he's uh, shown, you know he, he's right now he's showing the the world, you know what's right and what's wrong, you know, and revealing you know secrets concerning the scriptures and also uh, making us privy to the history, you know, because that's what and the apostles and the elders that has uh, promoted that. You know, in order to know the mystery, and this is what, what they said, you know, in order to know the mystery, you got to know the history. OK, so like I said, what were we doing that time? We was in, in captivity, hardcore bondage. All right. So, you know, it doesn't make sense for our people to get, you know, get all into it. But guess what? Out, out of their ignorance. Right. And which you can't even say ignorance anymore because the information is out there. Right. Uh, now they're going to be a subject to the judgment of Yahweh about Shemel Shai. And also as well, you know, there's a, uh, um, I believe it was uh, Frederick Douglass, if I'm not mistaken, that, um, you know, wrote about this particular day. And, you know, he basically said that, look, you know, uh, what, what does the fourth mean to the so-called Negroes? You know, well, what does it mean to them? You know, and the answer, answer to that is, is, is just a uh, shame. You know, that's what it represents. OK, because, again, you know, uh, that's a part of the history of America. You know, having us in bondage. Okay. And that's a history that, you know, Esau Edom is ashamed of. All right. And that's why he's trying to cover it up. But again, like I said, you know, um, our people, you know, they, they don't care. You know, they don't care. They, they just want, want to fulfill their own lust. 
all right so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and hop into the precepts i have here i'm not gonna make this video too long all right but um and, and uh, you know when, when, I meant, when i mentioned uh frederick Douglass, you know you can look up the information yourself you know when he uh wrote about uh this particular day okay and um you know it, it, and he puts it plainly that look this day was not made you know roughly paraphrasing you know just just to simplify it or summarize it he said look this day was not made for the so-called negroes and also that includes you so-called hispanics and so-called native american indians and especially you so-called native american indians man you know because you know your your history all right and on this land you know is is riddled with bloodshed okay and mass genocide okay so that's why um that's why you know those are the reasons that our people should not get into these specific days man Jeremiah 10 and 2 tell you not to learn the way of the heathen, okay? And this is indeed a heathenistic custom, all right? In which, you know, it goes deeper, you know, than, uh, than the fourth, which I'm not going to touch up uh, too much on, okay? But yeah, it's, it's um, you know, it runs more deeper than, you know, just it being the 4th of July, you know? Which it has to do with uh, in a, uh, an Egyptian custom, you know? Or the Egyptians, you know, they um, commemorate this uh, specific uh, time in each year, you know. But uh, like I said, you know, that's another topic for another video. You know, Lord's will. Um, I bring out the information. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, go to the Book of Psalms, chapter 137, and this is at verse uh, verse seven. It says, "Remember, O Lord, Yahweh Bashmiel Shai," and and the Lord is uh, bringing back them remembrance of the atrocities of Esau Edom. Okay. So again, it says, "Remember, O Lord." Yahweh Bashem El Shai, the children of Edom, right? Which again is the so called white man, okay? In the day of Jerusalem, who said, Race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof, okay? And what does the word race mean? It means to destroy, okay? To bring down, all right? And what, when, what were they, and why were they chanting that? They were chanting that because we were being brought down by the heathens. We were being brought down specifically by the Babylonians, all right? And uh, the Lord hasn't forgotten that. And we know that because when you go to the book of Obadiah, right? Let's see if I can get it. Uh, Obadiah 1. And uh, I'm going to start at uh, verse, uh, let's see. Yep, here it is. Yep. Uh, Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 10. It says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. And that's why I was saying earlier about the history of how America was brought, brought into existence. You know, in which a major part of America being brought into existence is us being in hardcore bondage. All right. Because we were the ones that was in the fields, you know, that was working, you know, uh, working the fields, you know, and building up their, their, their cities, you know, the towns. OK. They use us as a. As a, as servants. All right. To do these things. OK. And that's how America came to be today. And, and because it was built out the foundation of our of our, uh, our ancestors all right off the backs and the blood and the sweat of our people okay so again it says for thy violence against thy brother jacob all right talking about us all right the israelites okay a shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever right and that's the time we're about to enter into esau edom is about to be cut off from the planet earth all right for, again for these same uh uh these same things that I'm speaking about, you know, these same events and his uh, iniquities that he has committed against our people. All right. Uh, verse 11 says, in, in the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was as one of them. See that? So even they were as one of one of them, man. You know, uh, pouring our people out, but it doesn't stop here, okay? Why? Because you read other accounts on um on what they did, you know, concerning our people. All right, you know, just to really paraphrase, you know, they um uh, you know they cut us off when we was uh, escaping from the Egyptians, all right, and we wanted passage through their cities, and they said, look, we're not gonna you're not gonna go any any other way. You know that that looks uh you know for just to simplify you know we're not going to go by any other way but by the king's highway you know basically the, the king's highway was secured you know and i believe i touched up on that before in another video about the king's highway 
about um you had you know certain highways that the kings that have that, that they have you know which was have you know guarded and was um it was secure so that you know bandits or um you know any anything else would uh, harm anybody who's passing through a particular city or land but they cut us off from that that specific passage they they cut us off from a safe passage towards our land and 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 you know to where we were subject to, to just to wander and to go through a dangerous uh, uh, path to get to where we were trying to get to. Okay, and they got an answer for that. All right, but there's even more things they have to answer for, in which the main main one is captivity. All right. Um, so reading on, right, verse twelve it says, "But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger." Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the, the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Right. And they did it and they're still doing it to this very day. All right. Rejoicing over our people's downfall, man. But Yahweh Bashmael Shah is going to laugh at them too when their calamity comes. All right. It says, um, neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Right. And, and uh, uh, also an example of that is uh, the Ark of Titus, you know, will show a depiction of Edom. During the time of the Greeks, you know, taking our treasures, you know, taking our, our possessions. Okay, you see a picture when they carried a menorah, all right, the uh, the tabernacle. Okay, and um, and they were proud about it, man. Even uh, in case in point, the the ruler of the Edomites during that time, which is uh, King Antiochus, all right, you know, he 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 was pro he promoted and he uh, proclaimed and, 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 and was noised abroad by him that he took us down, all right. And made mockery of us, okay. Um, verse thirteen says, "Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity. Let's lock you. Nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. See that, and they did. All right. All it is, man. They got to account for that, man. All right." And like I said, you know, the Lord is taking into account and he's making record of this particular day. And he is counting, all right? He's, he's making a head count, so to speak, about, all right? About, you know, who's, you know, who who is really, or should I say, I should say this, you know, who is on the side of Yahweh Bashmiel Shai and who is on the side of Esau Eden. Right now, we're in, we're in a time of, of, of people picking sides, okay? And you best be on the right side, man. Or your how about Shemel Shah is gonna come in and smite, you know, smite you with a curse, man. All right, I'm talking about the ones that are that, that are just tuning in. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's it on that. Um now I'm gonna grab one last precept. I'm gonna close it out. I'll slack it. Here it is. Yep, close out on there. Uh, Exodus chapter 21, verse 16, it says, uh, And he that still the man is the law, okay? And the law will be exacted in that day, all right? The charter, the charter is going to be read, okay? We're going to read the charges as we uh, put you devils in chains, okay? We take you captive. We're going to read the charges to you, man. We're going to tell you why you're going into captivity, all right? We're going to tell you why you're getting destroyed and your kingdom is being brought down, all right? It says, He that still the man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, and we are in this man's hand, okay, where we are living proof that this man has done these atrocities, okay, by us still being in this land, okay, and him not letting us go, all right? And it says here, uh, he shall surely be put to death, all right? And that is the judgment of Esau Edom as a whole, okay? From the one who who's uh, well to do, the one that is you know, try to uh, please the poor of the, of the of the Lord's people. All right, try to please us, try to please our people. Okay, and try to win brownie points with us. All right, no man, that's not gonna stay the wrath of your how about you shot. No, he's coming for you. All right. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and close out on that note. And our Lord's will is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. To next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, Bashim Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone every world to this day. And our shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the whole elect continuing to labor in his work. And our labor to show for you deals just to make your calling, relationship, sure, and faith, and truth and sincerity, and all charity. And with that, bless and shalom.